loves what's going on hope your day has been well mine has it's kind of late at night right now and uh i kind of got sidetracked with homework and i had tests today you know the spiel i'm not gonna give you the whole details of you know my boring life sort of i have a small haul from a place that i love very very much and as you all know it's lush because i love lush and lush probably loves me they're probably tired of seeing my face by now try not to pay attention to the small planet growing on the side of my face i'm not putting makeup on that spot just because i guess it's really oily right now sorry you gotta look at that first off in my little bag of tricks that sounded weird i have this little thingy right here and this is the blue skies and fluffy white clouds uh bubble bar blue skies and fluffy white cloud blue skies and fluffy white cloud I'm trying to say it like three times fast and it's not coming out that way so i'm buying this little stop before i hurt myself so this is blue sky blah, 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 blah. the fluffy white clouds bubble bar and what you do with this is you can either break off a piece put it up under the water or what I like to do is because it saves me this is just for me I don't know how it works for everybody else but for me like when I put this right up underneath the faucet and I just hold it just like this it creates like the right amount of bubbles in the bath and you can manipulate how much go in there like I love my bubble baths but sometimes they get really really overwhelming and I don't want you know them to be all up in my face to the point of where I turn into Santa Claus love Saint Nick don't want to be him okay this bubble bar actually smells like patchouli and frankincense and I don't know why I've been having like a thing with frankincense and patchouli and I actually have incense burning over here and it's frankincense. I'm gonna like move from one thing to the next because I just want to confuse the hell out of you. These right here I get from Hobby Lobby and they're like $1.99. Oh the price is right there. <laughs> These are $1.99 you get them from Hobby Lobby. They're like cute little incense, but the thing I'm surprised about is that they last for quite a while. This one has been burning for about almost 30 minutes and it works really well because it fills up the entire room. I'm not worried with having to keep it, keep it going, you know. When you run it underneath your water, it gets in your uh, bath or whatever and then it turns into bubbles and they're big. and. The thing I like about this is is that you know some things that you buy the scent ends up going away after a while this scent doesn't go away like it's on you for the rest of the day. Lush let's face it sometimes it can be kind of expensive but you're paying what you're getting for. I'm just gonna jump into it because I'm so excited about this damn thing because I love it so very much. Uh, it's this. It's kind of ruined because I used it a little bit. I didn't know where to find one of these but my mom gave it to me and it's a little tray and it dries out the soap so it doesn't melt as fast. This is Honey I Wash the Kids. It's actually made from honey and caramel I do believe. You smell the honey when you literally, oh my god it smells so good. When you put it up to your nose you smell the honey and stuff like that. But then when you put it on your body in the shower it smells like toffee a little bit and it's really weird but it smells so good okay let's get real here i'm an ashy person my legs and my arms and my hands are the most ashiest things in the world it literally looks like i lost a flower kicking and flower throwing contest i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys i was shocked that when i got out of the shower i didn't need any lotion that's how they got me. Just take all my money. Take me now. I've walked past this probably about a hundred times and did not realize it. But I'm so glad that I saw it and now it's in my life. Thank you, Lush. You have just, you, you just made me a happy woman. I have another bubble bar that's uh, kind of my favorite now and it's called Bright Side. And it's really, really pretty. It smells very citrusy. Now, if you're not into citrusy, citrusy stuff, you don't want to get this because this smells literally like an orange or something that you just peeled you know how you peel an orange and then like the scent just automatically boom just hits you right in the face that's this right here if you're looking for more of a natural more um exotic scent i would go for this one because that's the frankincense and the patchouli for you it's more of an exotic scent and i just look yes yes y'all don't even know yes if you do want a uh, citrusy 
more uh, tropical smell is what I'm going to describe it. That's pretty good. I did a good job describing that. Good job. All right. <laughs> I need a cookie now. <laughs> you do the exact same thing like how I told you with this bar, you do it with this bar. Both of them, they smell really good, but just it all depends on you and like if you have to try them out first before you even buy them i mean these are so worth it and they last for a long time like they literally do all you need is to run it up underneath the water for like two seconds and you have like a bunch of bubbles it's the greatest thing alive i am telling you oh my god there's something else i might even include the clips in here or the pictures that I took of these because I already use my I use my bath bombs pretty quick. The first bath bomb that I had used uh, was actually the big blue one, and you guys didn't really see that one. I kind of put that one on Snapchat, so I'll put my Snapchat name at the bottom if you do want to see me do some uh, bath bombs because I do most of those on Snapchat, and I'm probably gonna start doing them on here if enough people want me to. It's made from lavender, lemon oil uh sea salt and seaweed there's seaweed pieces actually in it so once the bath bomb explodes all the seaweed pieces are like floating the only thing was was that they weren't really floating they were more toward the bottom after the bath bomb disintegrated amongst itself i sat in the bathtub and then i got seaweed on my toe it felt really like ocean like and it smelled ocean like i can say even though there's lavender or lemon oil in it the sea salt and the seaweed really took over in that bath bomb so if you're looking for something that's gonna be uh, mentally relaxing, I suggest that one to you. This one doesn't really give you a show per se. Um, this one more so, it it blows up fast. Like it literally just blows up fast. And I wasn't expecting it to be done so quick because usually I give my Snapchat peeps a show or whatever. I'm like, yeah, look at this. and whoa look at that oh my god it looks like a hippie blew up in my bathtub like i'm literally like commentary commentating on is that a word it is today i couldn't really say much about it and i felt really bad because i was like dang that was really quick it literally took about probably 10 15 seconds not even just the water's blue like sky blue and then like the seaweed pieces are like all in the bottom and i'm just like well Dang. On the aspect of me sitting in the bathtub and me chilling out, that felt so good on my body. I don't know if it was the sea salt or whatever, but it was so great. Good job on that one, Lush. The other bath bomb you guys actually saw it in my previous video, the relax video, where I was... It's a short little video to where I'm showing you what I do when I have a rough day. The intergalactic bath bomb, it mainly... The first thing that you kind of smell, you really have to like smell it because you're so mesmerized by the show that it's giving off. You don't realize that there's peppermint oil in it, there's grapefruit oil in it, uh, there's actually like popping candy apparently in it so that way I guess like it spreads out that way. It's just such a beautiful bath bomb and I hope they never get rid of it. And I'll leave the link below to my relaxed video so you guys can actually see how beautiful this ding dang bath bomb is because it really is gorgeous like it literally looks like there's a galaxy in your bathtub like intergalactic uh it's got blue pink yellow um it at a certain point it ends up looking like melted superman ice cream and that's a michigan thing if you guys don't know superman ice cream is the bomb.com and i was like but my first time I got it, I was just so blown away by how beautiful it was and how much work they probably had to put into it to make it look so beautiful. And I'll even leave the link below because I think they have a video that shows you what it looks like in slow-mo. So I'll leave that link below too. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is actually the massage bar that I got from Lush, um, which me and my mom are very fond of. Um, it's called the Wiki Magic uh, Massage Bar. And don't be frightened, those are dookie beans that are in there and they help in, I believe they help aid in the massaging process. In this massage bar there is cocoa butter and that's what makes up this part. And then there's also peppermint oil, cinnamon oil, and there's also extra virgin coconut oil in this. My middle name is coconut oil if y'all don't know. <laughs> <laughs> love coconut oil. I'll even show you guys because I don't mind showing you guys. 
So you see my arm is dry. So once you start doing this, your body heat goes in with the bar. So once you keep smearing it and smearing it and smearing it around, your skin starts to get smoother and smoother and softer and softer. And the good thing about this peppermint oil is the fact that it massages your achy and sore muscles. So if you come home from work and then say your arm or your legs or your feet were hurting, this is something that you would rub on there. And let me tell you guys, this works. My mother is an LPN and she works usually 7 to 7 or 11 to 7 depending on what shift she has. And I got her this bar and she looked at me and said, thank you. She loves this bar so much. So if you guys have achy sore muscles have trouble with achy sore muscles that's the bar for you i recommend you guys get this little tin right here because even though like these you know body bars and stuff are good and all that it keeps it from interacting with the air that's in your house or the temperature changes according to the weather outside or anything for that matter um and it keeps it from melting i can say that from experience because i had another uh massage bar that I loved and I believe it was the Earl Grey one and I left it out and it melted and it was not a good mess to clean up and as well as I was very sad because I really liked that one. <laughs> that is pretty much it for today. I just wanted to show you guys the things that I liked and hopefully that helps you out. I'll have all these products linked in the description below so that way you guys if you want to enjoy these just as much as I am you guys can because I got you the links right there. We friends now. I got you. I'm gonna take care of you. I hope you guys are having a great evening or day depending on where you are it's evening here and i hope that i persuaded you to shop at lush because it's totally it's amazing you guys need to shop there it is awesome i'm not trying to be the devil's advocate here but it's awesome and i want you guys to enjoy it just as much as i am let me know what is your favorite lush product and let me know what you guys would like to see in the next video got lipstick on my hand <laughs> All right, loves, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.